Hi guys, for this video I'll be sharing my brush settings and how I achieve this soft semi-realism painting. But before I begin, here are my brush settings. Please go ahead and pause the video here. Some of the brush settings that I didn't show here is because I kept the default settings and only marked size by pressure. Also, I just wanted to say that I'll speed up parts of the video after I'm done explaining. Otherwise, the video will be way too long. First thing that I always like to start off with is the background. With the pen brush or the watercolor brush, start off by applying the base color and then switch to the airbrush and apply a darker tone and then a lighter tone to create glowy effect. Create new layers for the hair, skin, and flowers and then apply the base colors for these layers using the pen brush. With the airbrush, I selected a reddish and bluish undertone to create shadows for the skin and then a lighter color for the highlight of her hair. For the flower part, I used the pen brush with a low opacity using a white color to create the shape of the flower. Moving on to adding details to her face, I created a new layer above layer 4. With the new layer, I marked clipping so that the details only stays within the shape created in layer 4. Switching to the watercolor brush, I'm going to start painting the eyes, eyebrows, nose, and mouth. I make sure to blend the colors with the previous color by using the eye drop. Add highlights to the tip, bridge, and corners of the nose, along with the inner parts of her eyes. I created a new clipping layer to add additional shadows to her eyes. Then I drawn in her eyelashes and smudged out the edge of her eyelashes. To smooth out the face, I'm going to start off by using the watercolor brush to apply the colors first and then switch to the airbrush. Apply the same color onto the same area. Continue using the eyedropper with every stroke to help blend the skin.
Moving on to our hair, start painting hair strands. Keep it minimal and don't overdo it. I'm using the watercolor by the way. Towards the outer parts of her hair, use a lighter color or shade to create a fading effect. Lowering the opacity of the brush, start redefining and cleaning up her hair. After that, smudge out the edges of her hair, then add a few more hair strands. Also, when you're applying the colors, the colors might appear differently than mine, depending on what you use. Tablet gives you pressure sensitivity, which allows you to create light strokes or dark strokes by pressure. And if you're curious what kind of tablets I use, I use Intuos webcam tablets medium size it's quite affordable it's like seventy dollars perhaps maybe eighty dollars it's been a while since i bought this tablet going back to the skin layer layer seven i switched to the oil pastel to add a subtle skin texture use the eyedropper along with it to help blend For the flower, I'm going to switch to the watercolor brush and start adding details and cleaning up the shapes. I'm honestly not really good with words, so I'm just gonna stay quiet and show you this part. The final thing to do is to add in vibrant effect by creating a new layer above everything. Set the blending to dodge, select an orangey tone and then with the airbrush apply that color onto the highlighted area or the area where you want it to pop out. <laughs> 